Hey, how's it going? It's Walsh here, sick as always. Welcome to episode 19 of my Ruthless SSF run. Hexblast has been doing absolutely nothing but red maps for the last, like, day and a half. And, uh, it's pretty marvelous, I'm gonna be honest with you. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and, uh, I'll see you near the end. So, I have to tell you, man, uh, the XP is radical up here. I, I think it's just because I was trapped for so long. Because I was making so many bad choices. But, uh, my god. <laughs> it feels like I'm cheating with how fast I'm getting XP. But, the problem is I'm losing it just as fast. Because I keep doing, like, unidentified red maps. Or, like, maps I know are minus res. And I just add more onto it. Uh, also, if uh, betrayal occurs in my map, guaranteed to die at least once. So, <laughs> yeah, tier 9. Disgusting. But, uh. Oh, a 13. Um, but yeah, it's like, I don't know. It, it feels pretty bad. I need evasion. But the thing is, like, my damage is so nice. The clear speed is so nice. Yes, I should be using, like, Spell Totem or whatever. And doing, like, uh, I think it's Wither. I don't remember. The one the one that makes them take more Chaos damage, not reduce their res. Anyway, Alva was pretty amazing to me. We got a Double Corrupt and a Ghost. And uh, let's see what we hit. Okay. Oh, we got the map room. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> well, whatever. It's fine. I, I mean, I guess we were guaranteed to hit the map room. I don't know why I said that. But it's fine. Whatever. Gonna go for a double corrupt. We're gonna go for Jack the Axe, because if you've never played a Jax the Axe build, you're missing out. So, uh, don't die. Don't die. Alright. It's probably because I mispronounced die. I blame myself. <laughs> I mean, at least we're guaranteed to get some maps. I don't know if they're gonna be good. I mean, it wasn't crazy. It's not bad. It's pretty cool seeing all these red maps. The uh, ghost gave me two pieces of jewelry, which is absolutely insane on Ruthless. Uh, I mean, they weren't good, but hey, it's okay. We got two. Disgusting. <laughs> wow, pacifism. Gonna go ahead and waste some more currency because... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I cannot hit any uh, mods to those Eldritch currencies. But I can drop my fourth, my fourth Tempest Shield, so uh, I got that going for me. And we got a Hydra. Okay, that's that's actually a good one because now I think I only need Chimera, and uh, I have a Shaper fight. I don't know if I have enough damage for it. I'm gonna do it anyway. Anyway, going for a big three to one here. Uh, oh, I needed that. Okay, Power Charge on Crit, pretty cool. Oh, we got Combustion. Okay, I mean it's a little late. I wanted that for cremation a while ago, <laughs> but I have it now, I guess. Uh, race course right now is the map I'm mostly focusing on for my 12. Pretty sure it's tier 12. Oh, Flesh and Stone. And an Alva. Um, it's nice to have three bosses, and they're kind of like easy to kill, to be honest with you. They're not very dangerous, at least for this character. Uh, for some reason, though, for some reason, I have died twice on Caldera, and it is very embarrassing. Uh, so... We got an okay belt here. What I usually use the low garbage essence for is just crafting any two stone ring. That way I can do this and do the recipe. Okay, it sucks, but don't vendor the prism because you can get five of them and reroll it for another one. Now, this might sound crazy, but you don't understand how hard it is to get jewelry in this game. It takes a long time. <laughs> anyway, hey, level 86. Felt pretty good about that. Uh, granted, it's a lot easier grinding in the red maps all the time. We have a ghost room and a double corrupt, which is disgusting. <laughs> I mean, the ghost ended up being dog shit. I also forgot we had a swap. Uh, no, don't get your hopes up. There's not a chance in hell I will ever play Death's Oath and Ruthless. Not a goddamn chance. Even in trade, ew, even in trade Ruthless, I would not play Death's Oath. Not a goddamn chance. Uh, got two uniques. I mean, they were both shit, but hey, whatever. Ghost Room did its job. Gave us some uniques. Gave us some shit. That's okay. We are not greedy. And now we go for the double corrupt on this, uh, helmet once this asshole goes away. Hey, what? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Uh, if it hits, I'll roll something with it. Alright, it's dead. Oh my god, it's good. <laughs> Wait, it got better. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, that was tier one. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, that was tier one mana reservation efficiency, by the way. And, uh, 
That's actually kind of impressive. <laughs> it had life, 20 rarity, and 10% reservation. My god. Uh, anyway, as you can see, we're doing a tier 16 uh, Blight, and we took it down no problem. It gave us a ton of loot, and we got a Stampede. I don't know if I'm ever going to use that, but there's a big downside. I ended up losing, like, not really a third, but a lot of the loot because of this. GGG, please. My loot. I am very poor. I really need my loot. I don't even know what's over there. Please. Please. I am telling you, Blight is cursed. It is always cursed for me. I don't know why. But I love the mechanics so much. It just doesn't love me back. Anyway, I did a Hydra fight. And to be honest with you, even though it's not a very quick fight, I think the total fight was like, what, a minute and a half? Maybe two minutes? I'm not really sure. But uh, I didn't die. <laughs> you know, I didn't come close to dying. It was a really smooth fight. Uh, slowing down the boss a lot is kind of cool. Granted, you can only slow it so much. But every little bit you could, because like I'm so used to fighting it as is, it's kind of nice to like fight it a little slower. It makes it a, I don't know, it just makes it like, it's such a difference. It's so weird. Even though it's such a tiny percent, like you can just notice it. It's like, oh, I could dodge this real easily. <laughs> Bye. I uh, went for another Val gem, didn't go uh, anywhere. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but uh, anyway, we got Regal Orb, which is pretty cool. Got two of those now. They are uh, pretty rare. But, you know, not as rare as Exalted, because I still have not found one. And we're at, like, 800k kills. Wow. Key rack. Oh, I'm not doing that. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was something cool. Oh, hey, Alva. Wait, what? We got two. Let's go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm not doing that stupid freaking, like, tar pit bullshit. Oh, my God. I have dropped three of these, man. Please. I just want unique maps. Is that a Regal? I'll take a Regal. Oh, a pair of shoes. Hello, shoes. You let me down, shoes. Honestly, that life regen made them uh, dead. Wait, what is this? Oh, gross. <laughs> Fractal thoughts. No, thank you. Thanks anyway, though, buddy. We got six uh, Eldritch currency, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll uh, hit something, but I probably won't. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not like... It's not like uh, Purity of Elements buff effect is really doing much for me. Whatever, man. So immediately after uh, unspecking from Kirak and removing the Solidarity node, I finally dropped the report. The second one of the league. I don't know what that means. Carrying on. Got an Alva, though. That's cool. At least the report gave us a map I needed. Uh, it's not a good map, but, you know, life goes on. I had to go over to Cremation because my character, my uh, Hex Blaster just died on the pedestal because he can't dodge anything to save his life. And for some reason, the Blast Chain mines don't work inside the Proxy Shield. But anyway, we got the challenge done, which is pretty cool. My gloves are slightly cooler, I think. I don't actually know. They might be. But we got a Guardian fight, which is uh, more important. And we got another one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I might have to, like, I mean, I guess I could do it with Harvest. I might want to, like, put a few points into Harbinger and, uh, try to get some, uh, try to get some Horizon Orbs. Because, uh, yeah, I need some Guardians, and I keep getting duplicates, which makes me sad. I have yet to see a Conqueror, though, which is unfortunate. I would like to have one very soon. I'm pretty sure that gives me a favorite slot, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, probably won't see one for a while, but, uh, I can dream. Hey, if man, it's fun the video. I just want to say thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am level 86, 28% of the way to 87. Uh, mapping on this character feels absolutely wonderful, but uh, I am definitely feeling the uh, lack of damage now as my weapons are dog shit. They are garbage. They are atrocious. I don't have a single plus one anywhere on anything, which is very sad. Uh, also, I need to hit level 20 on my gems, which will feel a lot better. Granted, all the other ones don't really do anything, but once every level of Hex Blast is very huge for the skill. Uh, anyway, currency is looking pretty decent, to be honest with you. Starting to stabilize now. I actually have Chance Orbs in the bank, which is really nice. I have three entire, look at them, three entire Regals. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, anyway, uh, map pool is amazing. I have not even touched a white ma or, or, <laughs> a white map. Might as well be. I haven't touched a yellow map in uh, a couple of days, which is pretty amazing. 
and uh, I can pretty much do any tier I want. I have three of these pieces of shit, and that fills me with despair. Uh, two guardians saved up, but neither are the one I need. So I could I, the two things I could do. Um, I could make my essence worse, which feels really bad. I, I really don't want to do that yet. I might just wait to do that. Um, I could make my alvas worse, which is <laughs> not going to happen. But I just need like three points. That's all I need. I don't need to do anything crazy. Like they drop enough orbs on their or on their own or fragments or whatever. So uh, I think it would be easier to do that. The only problem is I can only do that for Shaper. You can't do it for Elder and you can't do it for Conqueror. So I don't know if that'll be worth it. Whereas Harvest can do all of them. I don't know. We'll see what I do. But uh, anyway, I don't want to take up too much of your time. TLDR for the next day or so. I'm just going to be doing a bunch of grinding. I'd like to hit at least level 87 before I do some more death maps. But uh, we'll see what I do. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, ah, don't talk to me. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.